Jessamine Colburn's hands were all that was holding this city together. With her dead, the city was a fast disintegrating web of guardsmen, overseers, nobles, weepers. Maybe this was the world the outsider was trying to show me all along. For years, I had held together a shadowy band of ex-mercenaries, street kids, and refugees through discipline and a bit of black magic. On the fringes of a city that ate up innocence and weakness. Maybe today was the end of that small world. I thought of Jessamine Colburn's hands shuddering as she lost her grip on life. Whatever doom was coming, I deserved it. My people didn't. We've been attacked. Overseers are tearing the place apart. Looking for you. They're holding our remaining men and their leader is in your chambers as we speak. If we take him out and free our men, we can still drive the Overseers back. I want to know how the bastards found us in the first place.
ominous words were spoken down. You worry too much. Where is Dow? Keep your eyes open. Fire Fire keeper, where are you? Kill him! something. Get out right now! I know you're here so- Here you are! Someone get over here! Cut the rope. My hands are tied. Okay. I'll watch for your- Could the city get any worse? Indeed, I believe so. You're only moments from death. Talk or die, scum. It's all the same to me. Tell me where he's hiding. Your life ends at the count of three. Where are you? When I find... Cut the rope. My hands are tied. Let's see. Someone get over here. this one alive. Get behind him. I find you, it's going to be bad. Okay, now I hear you. Captain Rock will survive. <laughs> if I could just say, the men aren't happy. The prisoners are secured, but the interrogation... ...have been unsettling. The ones that talk are worse than the ones who won't. And there's still no sign of Dao. We wait. Dao will show. Remind the men that they're overseers of the Abbey. That Dao is an aging mercenary who has deluded his followers for years. Yes. I just hate the stink of this place. But you are right, of course. Inform the men we'll wait for Dao to show and call for a messenger. I have to get this letter of our victory to the office of the High Overseer. Yes, sir. And congratulations on your victory. <laughs> Damn it! 
Foxy, someone's down. I'll feed your heart. There you are. It's you. I thought you were. Think you'll get your own squad after what happened last night? Indeed, I believe so. Oh, I'll find you. Someone get over here! Should we gather for whiskey and cigars tonight? Never doubt. What? Let my hands not be restless. Reveal yourself. Nothing after all. I know you're here. I'll feed your heart to the house. I know you. There isn't any fight left in him. Should we gather for whiskey and cigars tonight? Never doubt it. Oh, I'll feed your heart to the Someone house. Someone get over here. <laughs> that might be worth checking out. I know you're here like somewhere.
this calamity next. the city get any worse? Never know. <clears throat> Restrict the wandering eyes that look hither and yonder for some flashing thing that easily catches a man's right fancy in again. one moment, she has to but brings calamity in the next. Again, she had to see reason. <clears throat> Just leap away, did you? Okay, now I hear you. <clears throat> Thought you could just leap away, did you? <clears throat> Thank you. 
Reveal yourself. Pick yourself up. Come out. We both know you're weak at heart. Crack at this guy. <clears throat> I'll write to her again. She has to see reason. <laughs> None of this would have gotten so bad if that damn fool Corvo hadn't killed the Empress. Start to me! Firing! <laughs> and pure, I do every man's work. I need more men! Probably rats. Uh, None of this would have gotten so bad if that damn fool Corvo hadn't killed the Empress. <laughs> Someone get over here! Get behind him! I know you're here! Assassin! Get behind him! Take out his legs! <laughs> our next move. Capture as many as you can. Their plans are ruined. <clears throat> Give me a report. 
We'll take the Overseer who led the attack and find out what else he knows. As soon as he's conscious. It seems the Overseers are marching into the flooded district, planning a massive assault against us. This Overseer Hume went against orders and attacked early. Our men, the ones you freed, were able to rout the remaining Zealots. This place belongs to us again. How did the cursed Overseers find us? It's my fault. I told Delilah where we were hidden. She wanted me to turn on you. You did this. But I can't go through with it. Stupid child. All you had to do was cut his throat. He deserves better. I was an idiot to listen to you. So that's your choice then, Dowd. Her betrayal would have been the sweetest. But either way, the Brigmore Witches will be your end. You should have forgotten my name the day you heard it. I think it was always understood between us that I'd see my moment and take your place. I moved too early. You weren't weak, like I thought. I'm only sorry I didn't pick a better ally. Delilah made contact with the Overseers. I thought, between the three of us, we'd have you dead to rights. We can blame the Zealots for that. Overseer Hume was too quick to move. My life is yours now. Kill me, or let me live. If it even matters to you. Touching and pathetic. If I see either of you again, I'll tear out your stone-cold hearts and walk in your skin. I forgive you. Get out of here. Leave the city. Leave my sight, Ellie. I give you your life. When Billy Lurk was eight, she wanted to be the captain of a ship. From the moment she met you, all she wanted was to be a killer. She watched you, learned from you, and then she saw you losing your grip and decided to take your place. And now, she's limping to the outskirts of the city. She'll pay a smuggler to get past quarantine. She'll watch herself for signs of plague for a while. Gradually, the fear and grief that seep into your bones in Dunwall will dissipate, and she'll find a new name and a new use for her skills. Even if Dunwall burns to the ground, one corner of the Empire will still know your story. Dowd, killer of an empress. Dowd, who spared his betrayer's life.